In this video, we will see how to use field source while designing your templates. What are the standard values? What are the tokens? What are the recommended psycho practices to define the templates? Welcome to my channel, my psycho diaries. I'm Jitendra. I'm from Mumbai. I'm a psycho architect. Please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icons to get the latest update. If you like my video, then please don't forget to click on the button, like button and share it with your friends. So without wasting your more, uh, any more time, uh, let's start today's topic. So today we will be seeing field source, standard values and tokens. So field source. In last example, we have seen how to create the templates. In that temp that section, uh, in the template, when you create a field, there is a there is a property called source. Okay, and in last video, I told you the source can be changed as per the data type. Okay, we will see today what uh, how it will change. We'll take some examples. Okay, and this 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 might be coming if you are doing a psycho certification. This question may come in this psycho certification also in interviews also people people does ask this question regarding the use of the source field. okay so let's take an example like i have taken this uh, uh taken this template and here i use the list image and rich text okay so if you see the list uh, i uh, i i have used a multi list here and have given some path okay this is the content path so in the color you have, I have a list of a colors like red okay so this is the this is the first example we will take so for the list field like drop link multi list and tree list the source field which you applied is is act as a location of the source okay location of the data okay uh, so what i mean by the location of the data is like uh, you if you are using a drop link multi list or tree list you are actually showing some list so for that list what is the source so here you see the slash color is actually a source so once we apply this and if you create an item you will uh, find something like this okay so list field where you will have all the items which is under the color so blue green red will come and you can select it okay so this kind of a field you can use uh, use uh, the uh, uh, source field for this purpose as a data source okay then image okay now if you see image i have given site core media library slash default website okay for the image or a file type it is the start folder displayed in the media library so generally when you have an image we, uh, in, in the contain item or a file you have a contain in the contain item you have a browse field once you browse it actually opens a media library now you want to restrict that to some folder like i want to restrict this for this image i want to restrict it to the default website then i can provide that path here so that it will get restricted so if we uh, if you apply this then in the in the uh, item when you browse it you, it will open the default website and you can select a data from this folder also. okay then we have a rich text and this is the unique one and you might find the question in the uh, site for certification or in the interview from for the rich text only okay so rich text is nothing but your html editor right so in site code in the HTML for the html editor there are multiple options for the interface okay so those into options you can specify in the uh, uh, in the source field. okay so like uh, there are four options in the rich text of rt so if you see i have taken a four field here rich text default and i have given the path as a site code system setting html editor profile slash rich text default so it will give you the default path of the default of what is a default view of the default menu of the rich text so something like this okay where it will have a minimum uh, or a default of uh, a default menus then you have a rich text pool okay for rich text pool i have given here option as a rich text pool. in this case you will see all the menus if you see a lot of menus compared to your default one okay so for that you can give the rich text pool okay if you have a uh, text id you will have you will see the rich text editor like this and you have a medium like this okay so basically a rich text is something where you what kind of a functionality which you want to allow to contain editor to pop up okay so depending on that you can provide this option 
okay uh, so this is this is about the source field and one of the one of more one of the uh, more use of a source field is the uh, you 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 see here we, are, we all are the static field okay what i mean by static you see a color i give a static value if you want to use the dynamic values like it can be depending on some condition that value can change then you can use uh, uh, the queries okay in sidecore you have a sidecore query and fast query so you can use those queries for the getting the path okay so this is how you will use the field source standard values and tokens standard values provide default values for data template fields if the value of the field is null the item contains the standard value for that field as defined in the data template for that item so basically standard values are used to provide the default value so when you create a template and from the template you create a contain so there are fields for which you want to give some default values then you can use the standard values <coughs> so how, what how, how the standard values created you have to create those standard values manually if you, once you create a template then you have to create it manually okay once you create it manually it automatically create an item underscore standard values okay. it's always named as underscore standard value okay it allows you to update the default values you can set the initial values using the token so there will not be a, a case where you always have a static value okay there might be a case where you want some are dynamic fields then the tokens comes into the risk like dollar name it's a name of the item like example like you are creating article list okay so when you are creating articles uh, there might be a case that whatever the name of the item you are giving that you want to use it as a title or you want to use it somewhere then uh, you can use the dollar name you can't give the static right there are hundreds of articles you can't give the, that name into the uh, template 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 is only one in that case you can use the dollar name as a token so far uh, uh, there are other tokens also like dollar id which will give you the id of the item dollar date the system date dollar time the system time dollar parent id the id of the parent of the item dollar parent name the name of the parent of the item dollar now the date and the time okay so once you update like dollar name dollar date then you will see like this so this is how uh, let's see how standard values and token works so in the uh, uh, site for content content node and i am creating uh, an item like insert uh, option demo here okay and i have adding two fields uh, it's data section name and id okay so this item i have created and then i want to create a standard value so i have to go to the for insert i select insert option demo and i have to go to the option okay in the menu and then you have your template here standard values okay once you click on that what will happen is it will create this underscore standard values field now i want to use the token for the name and id so i use a dollar name for the name and dollar id for the id okay and then i am creating the item okay insert option demo is my template and i'm creating test item okay once i created the test item you see this test item and the item name is automatically picked from the template so the test item to be picked and the id also it is picking okay so this is how you can use the standard values and tokens so in last video and this video we have seen how to create a templates okay how to design a template so let's see what are the recommended site for recommended practices Organize data templates by site in the content tree, uh, site code slash template. Create a folder for each site and add your templates. Remember that in your one site code instance, you can have a multiple website. Okay. So you, you can have a different uh, different uh, templates for each website or you can have a common templates for each your website. So remember to create. So whenever you create a content tree, please organize your data structure so that it is separate like your website templates are separate you can identify which template is used by which website use easily understood uh, data template name so that when contain author insert a new item and see the name of the data template they understand what the template is for similarly give the meaningful names to fill section that group similar fill together so remember that you are as a developer you are creating a template but those templates are, are 
used by the content authors okay so content author mostly those those are not the technical person okay? uh, and they are there are uh, there are many there will be a many technical content editors who will be using that template so whatever templates which you are creating whatever the name you are giving whatever the sections you are creating what are the fields you are creating the names given to those should be meaningful so easily understandable okay so they should be easy and under understand next one is use unique names for the fields field section because they are merged from in the inherited base template and avoid redundancies. in last video we have seen how the how we can use the inheritance okay from the base template so if you are using the same name and the same section name the duplicate names then it will be a problem okay we will see a demo of this okay in the, uh, at the end of this uh, this uh, uh, section okay so that will give you more idea what will be the problem to use the uh, same name by multiple places assign icons to the data template that contains authors see that they can easily identify what type of data template data was created similarly assign icons to the field section we will see this uh, uh, in the next video we are going to have a section for a session for a assigning the icon that time we speak on this topic Define field name based on the content type, not location, because content is often reused and does not necessarily appear only in one location. Again, remember we are doing component based development. Okay, so what you are developing a component which can be used at the multiple places. So don't define your content type or your field name depending on which page it is used. But consider this generic use and depending on that, give the name. Virgin and virgin sharing thing can create proper type. So, so as I tell you last uh, uh, you also that you properly define your fields and uh, you document those. Okay, so what is what field should be virgin, what should be unvirgin, what to be shared. Remember that if you if you are you are redesigning the template, you might lose your data. So think at properly before creating those fields. Use standard values and assign default values. Okay, so if you standard values and uh, you assign default values, it's easy for a content editor to uh, perform their uh, their work. Let's take an example of uh, same field name and section. What happens if you use the same field and the name and a section? Okay, so here I am creating an item template A. Okay. Where I have given a section name as a data, field as a first name and last name. Okay. Then I am created a template B. I have given the same section name data. I have given the same first name, last name field. Okay. So in both the template, template A and template B, we have a same section name data. I have a same field names, first name and last name. Okay. Now I am creating template C. I am inheriting template A and template B inside the template C. Okay. Now I am creating item. I have already created item from template C. Okay. The sample item is created from a template C. Now if you see what happens. Okay. You have a first name twice. You have a last name twice. Okay. You have a section here which is once. Okay. So basically what is happening is your sections are getting merged and your names are getting duplicated okay so with the same name you have us one section but the two du duplicate names now when you are trying to access the value for the first name which value you will take your two there are two different values last name also two two, two, two different fields okay so that they, that will be a redundant value or it will be more complicated if you update in first field it will pick up the second field. okay so to avoid all this confusion it is always we should have always a unique name and unique section name. Section name can be same if you have to group the fields okay in multiple templates together, then you can have a nice same section name. But fields field name should be always unique. Any question you can email me on my email address. This is my LinkedIn ID. You can contact to me at my LinkedIn. If you like my uh, uh, video, then please click on like button. Please share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any feedback, please comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click on the bell icon to get the latest uh, uh, update or latest videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.